Right now, most of our interactions with technology occur with physical touch. With cell phones, think texting or dialing a phone number. When we interface with TVs, we use a remote or a clicker or a channel changer, whatever you want to call it. But these types of physical interactions with tech may be in the past. Today, we're looking at the future of controlling technology and what it would look like if we did it with our brains. The key to do this right now is with wearable tech. Today we are talking wearable technology. And although these wearables may not be the most fashion forward, companies like Brainco and others who make wearable devices are paving the way when it comes to brain to machine interfacing. Brainco's main business revolves around measuring brain waves in meditation practices, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. What we're kind of doing here, if we break it down really simply, is we're controlling a brain. Or we're, we're controlling the remote cars okay, with the wearable, kind of so with your brain. Lawrence Franchini is the VP of sales for BrainCo. We actually did a slot car track, and we actually use your the wearable to actually make the cars go around the track depending upon how focused you are or how relaxed you are. Right now, I am controlling the car with my brain, and I think I'm in first, but I don't know. Oh, talking Why seems to help. To I'm going to keep talking. This is good. Go, go, go. And Brainco isn't the only company working on brain to machine interfacing. So it can trigger an action based on your thought alone. Meet Soon Alstrup, board member of NextMind, a brain to machine interfacing company that, among other things, allows you to control the TV with your thoughts. When you focalize on the CNN button, you'll basically change to a CNN channel. Uh, if you focalize on BBC, you'll change to BBC and so on. You can uh, control the volume and, and uh, all kinds of things with uh, alone your thought. Nextmind doesn't have any products available for sale yet, but they do have a dev kit that will ship out this year and will allow programmers to create mind control apps. But when you try it, you have this wow feeling, you get this uh, sense of wow, it's like having uh, special powers. Superpowers indeed. Now imagine being able to control every piece of tech in your house with your brain. You know, changing channels on your TV to turning on not only light switches we've already done, but we also think about you know, how we can interact with mobile devices and actually getting the Internet of Things connected. So that's where we see that really going and we've been working hard on that. But what would that interaction look like? Well, according to Lawrence, giving AI access to our brains will curate the perfect Netflix playlist. Maybe in the future we can see and get our programming customized content to what we find engaging, right? So no more having to scroll through, what do I want to watch at Netflix now? Now I can actually see, oh, because of the way I react with when I'm wearing my wearable on to a movie or something like that, I now get segmented and targeted uh, digital content that way. Now, as cool as it is to control a car with your brain or anything else with your brain, BrainCo is taking things a step further and allowing amputees to fully control prosthetics with their brain power. Now, this is where BrainCo says the future of this technology is going. This is actually something that will completely change lives, revolutionize the industry, and actually really propel us uh, you know, forward. These AI brain-to-machine prosthetics are going through FDA approval right now and will be available by the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. And with all of this, Lawrence says he looks forward to what this innovation leads to. You know, and that's the great thing about the future. It's ours to create and ours to write. Brain to machine interfacing is still in its early stages, and there's a lot more that can be done with it. But for now, I'm going to focus on what it does best and meditate.